Meanwhile, President Trump just authorizing an emergency disaster declaration for Hawaii, which is bracing for impact as Hurricane Lane makes its way toward the islands. It's set to be the first major storm to make landfall there in 26 years, expected to reach the islands tonight into Friday. So what are airlines doing to prepare? Joining us exclusively is Peter Ingram, Hawaiian Airlines president and CEO. Peter, a hurricane in Hawaii. Have you, have you ever had this over your career? Um, Guy, good morning. Uh, good to be with you. Um, we have had hurricanes come very close to the islands over the last several years. And so uh, we are well prepared for, you know, running the script we run. And it is, it's the kind of thing that is very dynamic. And we have to be, um, you know, really on our toes operationally. We get different information. In this storm in particular, the forecast has been changing day by day over the last several days. So we've been uh, evolving our plans and how we're going to react. So what is that script? Um, does it mostly involve, I mean, obviously canceling flights as needed, but uh, is there a need to help people get off the island? Do you have to be flexible about scheduling? Uh, what's what's in, in, in play right now? Yeah, we try to stick to our schedule as much as we can when, when this is uh, going on. Um, obviously, the, the first consideration is the safety of our guests, the safety of our employees, and making sure that we're operating in, uh, in a safe manner all the time. Uh, in, in this case, you, you know, we, have, we are right now operating uh, fairly normally. Uh, the, the storm is offshore. Uh, there are weather effects in the islands, particularly on the big island, but it is, is really a, a rain event, and, and the biggest winds are offshore and not affecting the airports. Uh, we expect heavier rain to come into uh, Maui and Honolulu over the next uh, 24 to 36 hours, and so we'll be dealing with that here. Um, the uh, people have been, we've uh, implemented uh, a waiver of our change fees. People have been changing their plans to, uh, to get uh, out of the island sooner if they can. Uh, our flights are right now very, very full. And so un unfortunately, we'd love to have more airplanes to, to help people even more uh, than, than we are, are able to. But we're, we're doing everything we can to accommodate as many guests as possible and making sure that we're reacting as dynamically as we can. So you are offering, you're offering refunds for people who do have plans on Hawaiian Air to go to Hawaii over the next few days? And if so, how big of a, how big of a hit is that financially? Uh, we've, offered, we've offered change fee waivers, and, and you know, we, have, we will, in an event like this, see some impact on our bookings, uh, including on our neighbor island flights, the flights that fly within the islands of the state. Um, we haven't tallied up the financial impact of that yet. It will be, um, you know, a, a number that is, is big enough to talk about in an earnings call at the end of the quarter, but it is, um, you know, part of operating in the airline business is that we have these weather events and we've got to uh, respond to it. And, and th this is, unfortunately, it's a normal course. We do have a regular hurricane season in the Pacific, and um, this is something we have to be ready for in this time of year. Uh, Peter, wanted to talk a little bit about your uh, suspension of flights to Beijing. Is uh, what, What's behind that? Is it uh, sort of a front in, in these trade tensions that we're having with that country or, or something else? Well, it, it has absolutely nothing to do with the trade tensions. We've been operating to Beijing for the last four and a half years. Our business plan always required that um, that that market was going to have to see growth. And unfortunately, we haven't seen as much growth as we uh, expected when we launched flights back in 2014. We had a little uptick in, uh, in the growth back originally when we offered nonstop service for the first time. Uh, but the market has not grown as much as, as we had hoped. So really, this is an economic decision based on the, uh, the performance of the flight over uh, the last four years, and, and we've got opportunities to deploy aircraft to uh, markets that we think are more promising in the near term. We think that's the, the right balanced decision for our airline and for our shareholders.